Good morning. Welcome to Francis Street First United Methodist Church Focus Prayer Time. And we're so glad to see you here today. And I would like for us just to maybe think about a couple of things this morning. And the first thought I had was maybe why this uh, morning prayer time is so important to me. In, in the past, I will tell you that I always thought my nightly prayers were the most important. But the older I get, the more I find that I start my nightly prayers and then before I hit amen, my eyes might be closed and I never quite finish. So when I think about morning prayer time, it's just a good time to kind of get ourselves set and ready for the day. I, I, I think it is important uh, just to acknowledge God's presence and then to... Uh, Think about the possibilities of your day, and it just seems like a, a very fresh way to start your day to me. So, um, I, I think also I was thinking about the golden years, and when we talk about the golden years, I thought, no, they're not. I'm, I have aches and pains that I didn't expect, and I wasn't so sure that they were golden. But then on the other hand, I think about uh, situations that sometimes might have caused me stress or things that happened during my day, different events where I might have been upset or nervous or anxious. And I take, oh, take a deep breath. You know, we've talked so much about meditation. I have a chance to kind of recenter myself. And that's such a blessing. And that's something in older age I've had that I think when I was uh, like Jenny when I was your age and living right in the middle of things I don't think I had that time to take a deep breath and kind of recenter and refocus and kind of put God back in the center of my life and I, I think maybe as I think about that with God I have everything I need to be happy fulfilled and whole and I can feel relaxed and feel at peace because God is in the center of my life and I can kind of have this you know, take, open my heart and just accept blessings that come from God. And so that was my first thought I had this morning. What do you think about that? Got ideas? And I'll listen if you got something. I think absolutely. That That's something that for me I can think about a little bit. Karen, what do you think about that? Well, I was well, taking I was it all taking in. It's, it a all in. Topic. it's a great topic. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I, the other day I the was thinking, day, oh, was this thinking, oh, little twitch in my back. And, and, uh, and uh, you know, it's, it's you slowing know, it's, me it's down. Slowing me down. However, I However, thought, I thought okay, this okay, this is this is something that is something slowing down that is slowing okay down because is it gives okay me more time to to think and pray. Mm -hmm. And of course, I'm asking course, God, I'm please, asking God, you know, please, help me get through know, this day. I've got a lot of things to do. <laughs> yeah. right. So it makes right. me, um, it makes me turn to God a little bit more. Mm -hmm. realize, realize I need to depend, need to upon, depend him upon Him a lot more than I did in my middle years. Yes. Right. And fortunately, unfortunately, when you're feeling you're pretty feeling good and you're pretty stepping good, along pretty quickly, you don't stop. To take the time to, the time connect, to with God. connect with God. Right. Yeah, I think that's true. You know, there was a scripture this morning, too, that had real meaning to me. Because right now, we're kind of thinking about our focus prayer group, where it is we want to go with it, how we want to uh, use this time. And I love this scripture from Hebrews 10, verses 24 and 25. It says, Let us consider how we may spur one another on, toward love and good eye, good deeds, not giving up, meeting together, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. So spurring each other on and encouraging each other, I thought, you know, that's not a bad focus for this prayer group. And so 
that was one idea that I wanted us to think about just a little bit. The other idea that I that I looked at, and this was from the Daily Word devotional, and do you know it was just looking at the Lord's Prayer and think about how many times we've said that Lord's Prayer, and it just becomes so automatic that I think the words somehow don't have the meaning that they might if I just really thought about it. And it was a simple line that they said, think about this one, give us this day our daily bread. And you know, in my mind, I always thought about that as being food. And you know, we've been lucky to live in the United States of America, and so we have food. We have more than we need, and sometimes I'm, I know I'm guilty of abusing food, especially since my brother is back visiting, and uh, we're eating lots, and we're enjoying <laughs> eating lots, and I'm cooking lots, and uh, you know, that's not my usual uh, way of doing things necessarily, but when I say, give us this day our daily bread, it's really food not only for your body, but for your mind and nourishment for your spirit, the living bread of which Jesus spoke. And you know why that never occurred to me that we're talking about living bread, we're talking about nourishment for the soul and mind. Uh, we want, all of us, I think, want life to mean more than just material comforts. And we're lucky enough that, that we all are pretty comfortable, I think, most of the time. But we also want to have that idea that we're making a contribution to the world. Uh, it's, it's our way of expressing kind of the power that God has given us uh, and, and sharing that with other people. And so uh, the, the, the idea that I'd like for us to take away maybe this morning is, here I am, Lord, use me. And uh, if, we can, if we can keep that in the forefront of our mind, here I am, God, use me, we can get rid of any negative thoughts that we, we might have or any thoughts that our, our lives are lacking purpose. We're needed, we're, needed, we're important, and we're necessary uh, to God and to our fellow human beings. And I know, Jenny, you got lots of kids in your house, so you never should feel like you're not needed. You know you are. I know, Karen, uh, you are definitely needed with, with your grandchildren. And I think we all kind of have that feeling of purpose in our lives, but maybe if we can keep ourselves, uh, again, God-centered, we, we'll realize that maybe more easily. What do you think about that one? And I'd love to listen to that as well. I have to agree. Sometimes we get so caught up in life, especially when we were all younger, we had a hard time focusing on much else. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, that's true. And, and you know, I think about you, Susan, too, when we say, here I am, God, use me. And, you know, we always go back to your exercise class, but you know, that is something that is, that is the way God is using you to minister to us. And that is so important. And, and you know, you have those of us that come and go through exercise, but, but really it's something that we value and we see as very important. And, and you know what? I just noticed, uh, Jenny, your mom is saying, yeah, you do have a bunch of kids. So she, she appreciates and notices <laughs> The work that you're doing, that's important. Yeah, absolutely. Other thoughts, anyone? Yeah, Karen, go I do. right ahead. I do. Uh, sure. Uh, talk about the daily about the daily, uh, the daily bread the daily yes bread. That, is yes, that is the connection the word, the connection, the word of god that we need, god every, that day. We need every day and then i remembered, then you, I know, remembered when you know when they were wandering, wandering in, the in the desert for the 40 years, for the 40 years they, didn't they didn't know how they were going to exist god, god provided that daily manna that daily for them, manna for them. That, daily that daily sustenance and so and so people turned to him and they needed him they needed him Right, right, absolutely, right. Are there other thoughts that are on your mind, any concerns that you have today that you want to pray about? I do want to pray for our kids going back to school, for this week especially, getting back, getting started, and things going right for them is just really important, I think. 
Any, anything else you'd like to have included today in pr our prayers? Glenn and I have our 52nd wedding anniversary today. Wow. Oh, my word. Congratulations. Yay. Yeah. yeah, that's big. We were such, we were children, such when we children when we were married. When we were married. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very good. All right. Okay. Well, if there's, if there's nothing else, then let's go to the Lord in prayer, okay? Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for this morning and we have felt your presence with us. And we know that in the golden years, they come with aches and pains, but also there's some joy in knowing that we do have time to recenter ourselves and focus on you. And we're grateful for that uh, and, and, and know how important that is. And uh, dear Lord, we ask that as we think about the Lord's Prayer, which we have said so very many times, when we talk about our daily bread, we know that you are offering us uh, nourishment for our, our minds as well as for our bodies. And that is such a blessing. Uh, Heavenly Father, we pray for our students that are going back to school. And during this time of COVID, it is so very difficult because uh, some students have to be at home and others are able to go back to school. And we especially pray uh, for uh, Becky's grandchildren and we pray that they get back to school soon and that it will be smooth sailing for them and because our kids have been out of school for so long there are so many relationships that maybe need to be rebuilt and mended and and help that happen for our students dear lord we we love our kids and we want things to go well for them and we um place them in your hands and we ask that you be with them and nurture them and care for them and help them grow uh, with love and help them them grow in both uh, mind and body dear lord and be with the teachers and the bus drivers and all the staff people that will be working with our children and dear lord we know that a lot of people are feeling grief especially right now due to illnesses and due to the death of uh, their loved ones and we pray especially for the uh, South family and we ask that you be with those children and help them realize that uh, it was time for their mother to let go and and she made that choice and uh, help them give the support and love to their father that he needs dear Lord help to soften their hearts and help them to come around as they need to and even during times of grief dear Lord there are happy times and uh, we're so happy for Karen and Glenn that they're celebrating their 52nd wedding anniversary today and we're uh, thankful too that we're able to get out a little bit more that we can have uh, family and friends together and we can talk about things that are important to us and Heavenly Father we ask that you be with us as we consider um, the future of our focus prayer time uh, be with us and help us to realize uh, and know what you would have us do Heavenly Father and be we with each one of us as we continue this week and keep us in your care Amen